Okay, we got it on the bench. Um, we got a piece of cardboard down here, so we got a pretty gal staring back up at me. I don't know what they were selling. But anyway, we're going to take this carburetor part now. Spill gas all over the cardboard. And um, we'll show you how to disassemble. It's not very difficult. And uh, as you notice, I'm already getting leakage, so what we'll do first is to dump this gasoline that's in the bowl into a uh, can. That way it doesn't make such a big mess. Onto the workbench itself. It's just the uh, gas that's accumulated there. What happens is over the summer is a, a two cycle has oil mixed with gas and um, Actually, with this one, I don't even think, no, it isn't mixed. I'll take that back because this isn't injected. But the gasoline tends to, with the new gas, it varnishes up, and your jets, your idle jets, will get plugged. And so you have to periodically take the carburetors apart unless you put everything, uh, you fog it and, and drain your carbs and stuff. And I didn't do that last year. I should have. But uh, anyway, so what we're going to do is you just take off. There's four screws that hold this bowl on and uh, we'll get those off as quick as possible and I want this to be a long drawn out boring video and of course both carburetors are the same so once you do one you know how to do the other but um, this is what we're going to do first and I've taken many of these apart so it's uh, kind of second nature for me, but um, I know there's a lot of people out there that have never done this before, kind of afraid they'll take it to a shop and a shop, shop will rack them, you know, I don't know, 100 to 200 bucks to clean your carbs, whatever it would cost. I have never checked it out, but it wouldn't surprise me. But um, this goes with lawnmower engines too. Most of your lawnmower engines, the issues are gas that is set all winter in a carburetors, and uh, they get gunked up. So you just clean them, and they're good to go. Now what we have to do is get this bowl to break loose, and um, need a little screwdriver just to kind of. You don't want to force it much. You just want to kind of break it loose, and it'll. It should be able to wiggle and then pretty soon it'll pop because there's a, a um, jet that comes up into this little piece here and there's an O-ring around it and that's what you've got to kind of have to break loose. You just have to be very careful because you don't want to mess up the edge of this carburetor because everything's aluminum so it will easily be messed up. So there you go. There's the inside of the bowl. You can see your two floats that come up and uh, there's that hole that I was talking about and uh, get a better shot there and but anyway we're going to clean all these holes all up and um, go from there so here is your the basic carburetor the way it looks disassembled you can see this jet right here and this we'll have to pull out. The jet that I'm concerned about is down in this hole, right there. I don't know if that looks blurry, but um, anyway, that is your idle jet. That's the one that has to come out. And it's a long, skinny screwdriver to get that out. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take your, um, oh, now, I call these the wrong names it's because I really don't know that much on how to call them <laughs> the right name. But anyway, I'll try to scrub through it. So if anybody's watching and they know what they're called and I call them wrong, that's because I'm not a professional. But what I do is I have a little center punch that uh, is spring-loaded. And so in order to get this pin out of this um, apparatus that moves your floats, I just hit that on the end of there. Oops, it goes out like that. It should cover the end of it so you don't lose it, but there's the pin. So set that off to the side, and then here's your um, float regulator. 
And then you pull out this little, I can't think of what this is called, metering valve. But it's just a small little thing. It's got a little tip on it. Let me try to get this into focus so you can see it. But uh, anyway, that little doodad comes out. And then you've got this little nut left on the top here. And so what we're going to have to do now is we're going to put a socket over that. And uh, we'll take that out also. Because it's, it's just good. You don't really have to take it out, but it's a good practice to take as much apart, at least in my opinion, as you can, because it the more stuff that you can clean, the better chance you're not you're not going to have any issues later on. So anyway, and it's not that difficult. It just unscrews like so. Yeah, my hand in front of most of this, and it, if you can see there is a little hole right in the end of that, that little, um, I don't know what it's called, but anyway, that's where this seat, this little seat slides into, like so. Anyway, it looks clean. I mean, I can see daylight through it, so that's good. And then on the inside, it's nothing. Uh, there's just some chambers up in there that uh, will get sprayed out. Next we're going to take out, this is your main jet here, we're going to pull that out and uh, take a look at it. So let's see if we can find the right socket for that one. Missing an eight millimeter. Yep, eight millimeter. As you can see, nothing is very tight because I've taken my carburetors apart quite frequently. But um, anyway, you pull that off, and that's another. It's just a hollow little gadget, but it, down in here is where your um, well. You can see up in there that tube sticking up, that slide that I had. There's a long needle on the end of it, and it goes down in that little tube down in there. And then that goes down into this apparatus, which goes into this little gizmo, this little jet. So I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's called the main jet or not. Going. But anyway, now what we're going to do is we're going to take out this little idler jet, and I have a uh, small little screwdriver. It is just a thin blade that you're able to get down into that hole, and there's a slot in it, and you just take it, turn it, and uh, it'll come loose. Now, like I said, I've taken a lot of my stuff apart frequently, and so everything is pretty easy. So now what we're going to do is drop that out, and here it comes. That is your idler jet. And this is the culprit that won't allow it to idle. I'm going to try to show you. You probably won't be able to see it very well. But on the end of it, there's, a, there's holes on all four sides. There's two holes. And um, those holes will get plugged. As I'm looking through them, I can see daylight through them, but they're, they're not quite as clear as they should be. Anyway, that's how you disassemble the carburetor. That's all there is really to it. There's nothing else that needs to be pulled off to clean it. Um, what we do now is we take some carburetor. I don't know what happened there with the camera, but it shut off. I don't know if my card's full. I don't know if this is recording or not. But anyway, what we're going to do is clean all this out. We take some compressed air and blow all the passages out. And then clean all the jets and components up. Put it back together. And you're good to go. So, 
that's the basics of cleaning a jet on a 440 Polaris Indy Trail snowmobile. And these carburetors are pretty standard on a lot of different models. I mean, they look they all look the same pretty much. The older ones, and again, this is an 85, so it is old, vintage. But uh, now there is a jet down in here too. I should take that one out also. I'll show you. And I think this might be called the main jet. If I'm not mistaken, but uh, the right side, and we will get it off. There it is. It's a 14 millimeter. So hopefully my camera will keep working. I don't know why I put there. So this is probably a good idea to take off before you pull that carburetor out. And um, that way it's, it's easier to get off. But this is your main jet. Yes, and this little you pull apart, and now there's a jet on the end of it here. And that is your main jet, not that other thing I was talking about. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. Let me turn my fan. Got my furnace running. My memory card went full, or er, was full, so I had to switch cards. Anyway, we're going to pull this little jet. This is your main jet. See, I knew I'd remember. That's what happens when you get old. Can't remember nothing. Um, that is the main jet right there, and we're going to pull that out and clean it also. So what I do is I just put it in my socket there, the 14 millimeter. And, um, and I just get, I think it's, could be, six millimeter. I'm have to get my other ratchet. You pull that apart, just like that. And this is what your, ma your main jet looks like. Not much to it, but it's clear. I'm looking and seeing daylight with it. So and then this is a little apparatus that holds that. So that's that. So now we're going to clean it, and then I'll just show a little video on putting it back together. So stay tuned.